Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to use BitLiker on drives that don't have the TPM module uh, installed within the the motherboard. So, most likely, if you don't have TPM, which is Trusted Platform Module, which is a microprocessor that allows you to secure your hardware, if you don't have that, uh, and you try to enable it within your system, you're going to get this error. The device can't use a trusted platform module. Uh, your administrator must set the allow BitLocker without the compatible TPM option within the, your environment. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's really simple. So the first thing that you need is a flash drive, a USB flash drive. So you could do the recovery key, which allows you to boot into your system. Uh, so I already have a flash drive already inserted, which is right here. I reformatted it. 8 gigs should be enough. So the next thing you need to do is right click on your start menu, go into your run command and type in gp and type in gpedit.msc and hit enter. Okay? Once you hit enter, you're going to get the local group policy editor. You want to get into computer configuration, administrative templates, window components, BitLocker, driving encryption, and operating system and drives. Now the one that we need to look at is the required additional authentication at startup. We're going to right click and we're going to go to edit. Once the dialog box pops up, we want to enable it. Once you enable it, make sure that this option is checked off. Allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM, required a password or startup key on a USB flash drive. Okay, we're going to apply it and we're going to OK. We're going to close our local group policy editor and we're going to go back into our drive. I'm just going to refresh it real quick. Cool. So we're going to right click our C drive and we're going to turn our big locker. If everything goes well, you should get the prompt to create your recovery key. OK, this looks like a good thing. When you turn on your big locker, your computer performs the following steps. Prepare your drive for bit locker. An encryption drive. So what we need to do is click on next. Preparing your drive for BitLocker. An existing drive or an allocated free space of the hard drive would be used to turn on BitLocker. Click on details to give you more information. So what we're going to do is click on next here. And now what it's doing is preparing the drive for BitLocker. Now there's a catch with this BitLocker drive encryption. As you can see I get a nice little warning. It looks like the drive preparation is completed but uh, the setup wasn't able to move my Windows recovery environment to your new system drive. You will no longer be able to use the Windows recovery environment unless it's manually enabled and moved to the system drive. Okay. Now I'm doing everything inside a virtual environment. So I think that's the reason why I'm getting this error. But most likely if you're doing it within a laptop or a desktop environment, you're not going to get this error. So I'm going to restart my machine. Okay, so when you come back from the restart and you log into your machine, the BitLocker drive encryption dialog box is going to pop up. Uh, it's going to basically give you uh, a brief summary of what's happened. So I already prepared the drive for BitLocker. And the next thing to do is to encrypt the drive. So we're going to click on next here. And then it says insert the USB drive or enter a password. So we're going to do a USB drive. Because my virtual machine restarted, I have to check if the flash drive is there. If not, I have to insert it. So my flash drive is still there. Awesome. So we're going to close this dialog box and we're going to insert a USB flash drive. So it read my flash drive, which is the E drive. So that's a good thing. And we're going to click on save. The next dialog box it says, how do you want to back up your recovery key? It gives you a couple options. You can either save it to your Microsoft account, save it to a USB flash drive, save it to a file or print the recovery key. This is really up to you. I can't really give you a recommendation. Uh, but if if it was me in real world, I would kind of use my Microsoft account because it's outside of my, my environment. But for now, I'm going to save it to a file. And we're going to click on next. So before we even continue, so let's go inside our uh, file explorer. And this PC. And let's go to my E drive. And this is the, the recovery key that we just created. I just wanted to show you guys that it's there. Awesome. So let's close that up. And then it says choose how much of your drive to encrypt. 
Encrypt use disk space only, faster and best for the new PCs and drive, or you can encrypt the entire drive, which is slower, but best for PCs and drives that are already in use. Now I'm going to pick encrypt use disk space only, which is faster and best for this PC drive for now, but I think if you want to be really safe, you can actually encrypt the entire drive. But for this video, we're just going to encrypt just some of the space. So let's click on next. And then from here, are you ready to encrypt your drive? You can run the BitLocker system check. Uh, you can keep your you can keep working while the drive is being encrypted, although your PC might run a little slower. Uh, the system check ensures that BitLocker can read in recovery. So I'm going to pick this option because I wanted to make sure it is good to go. And we're going to click on continue. So you got a nice little dialog box on the corner that says encryption will begin after the computer restart. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to restart the machine. So we are going to go to start, power, and we're going to restart. Okay, so once your machine is restarted, you're going to get this dialog box. And it's going to start encrypting, uh, which is awesome. Uh, right now it's about 50% that is completed. And once you get 100% and you go inside your Fire Explorer and you go inside your disk PC, you're going to see your C drive or whatever drive that you're using BitLocker is going to have a nice little lock. That lock just tells you that your uh, hard drive is encrypted, which is awesome. Like right now, it's still encrypting. I'm about 52.1%. And once it's completed, we're good to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, on how to enable BitLocker uh, within your environment if you do not have TPM which is trusted platform module embedded within your motherboard which is you know it's a good thing it's good to it's a, it's a good thing to encrypt your stuff uh, to keep it nice and secure uh, again hopefully you guys enjoy leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one peace out